Hi, this is Felicia Mentanate with Pushplay TV and we're here at Coco Lounge for the launch of Bitchin' Kitchen on Canada Food Network. We're here with Panos. Hi. Panos is one of the characters on Bitchin' Kitchen. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, that's right. My name is Panos the Fish Guy. I play uh, Greek, born and raised with the Italians and uh, that's all I can say about it. Uh, the rest, you got to watch it to see it. What is the night going to be like a little bit? The night is going to be uh, just a lot of fun, music, drinking, dancing, uh, whatever the single people want to do. <laughs> and uh, how do you like your character on Bitchin' Kitchen? It's very uh, very easy to do because I grew up with the uh, a lot of people that act like my character, so it's easy to do. So we're here with Nadia G. What's up? I'm doing good. Thanks for coming. Push Play TV. I'm happy to be talking to you. It's uh, an amazing way to launch a, a brand new TV show. Absolutely, I'm very excited. We've been waiting for this uh, for a long time. I personally have been waiting to get a TV show all my life, so this is really a dream come true. Yeah, your Facebook status today said it's a lifelong dream. I mean, has it really been a lifelong dream? Absolutely, yeah. That, well, you know, as a child, I'm, I'm not sure if I, if I quite understood, the, you know, what it meant to, to, to be on television, but as I got older, Absolutely, it really has been. I've always been a writer and an actress, and Bitch and Kitchen has given me the opportunity to do both, and I'm, I'm really happy. What has the journey been like from the web show to the Bitch and Kitchen cookbook to now Bitch and Kitchen on Canada Food Network? Now, it's, it's been a crazy journey, a lot, a lot of hard work. Um, I mean, we've been working at it non-stop, but it was quite something to see a web show then transition into a cookbook, which is tangible, and now transition into a TV show. I mean, the success has been, has been great. And uh, we have to talk about being Italian, from one Italian to the next. I mean, the humor and all of that. How, how has that helped you and, like, I mean, incorporated? I know humor is very important to you. No, comedy is, is super important to me, as is food, being Italian. Um, and, and it's interesting because growing up in St. Leonard uh, was a fairly conservative experience and it drove me nuts. Uh, and I rebelled wholeheartedly uh, from, from that kind of mentality, if you will. And then with this cooking show, it was nice to kind of revisit it with fresh eyes and kind of go back to my roots, but different with the life experiences I acquired with the different paths I took that took me away from St. Leonard for a very long time. So it's nice to mix uh, the traditional with the irreverent and the net gen and, uh, and the comedy, you know? Uh, so any net advice for our viewers out there? Oh, goodness. You know, they say um, that dreams can come true, that if you want something really bad, you can get it. The part that they forget to tell you is that you got to work 12 to 15 hours a day for 5 to 10 years before you get it. So, folks, remember, dreams can come true. And we can catch you on Canada Food Network when? As of April 7th, I believe, right? April 1st. April 1st, sorry. No problem. April 1st at 11 p.m. right after Ace of Cakes. And then we play again on Friday and Saturday at 6.30 and 7.30 respectively, if I'm, if I'm correct. Well, there you guys have it. Nadia G here. You know you're one of my idols. Yeah. Uh, and you can catch her, like she said, on Canada Food Network or on www.bitchingkitchen.tv.